Good morning internet. So, Wednesday morning, it's the 12th of June and what a beautiful morning, eh? absolutely gorgeous and it's really great to be out. After I got my boot on, the foot this morning is a little bit AWOL, playing up a bit, a bit swollen up, took a bit of time to get the boot on, but it's on. <laughs> God knows what it's going to look like when I take it off, I dread to think. Good thing is I've got a doctor's appointment tonight to get it checked over, so there you go. Right, now it's not going to be a long ride because I'm not going to push the foot, as they say. And uh, on the Himalayan today, give that a whirl, see if I can get on it though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit higher than the meter, but anyway, hang on a sec. Look at this weather, eh? look at this. Eh? Isn't this gorgeous, look. Not a, well there's a couple of clouds, come on. There's a few over there, so we won't look that way, nor that way. We'll look that way. <laughs> there you go. Okay, right. So, without any further ado, now this could be the tricky bit, because like I said... Uh, oh, that wasn't too bad, I suppose. Okay. Right. Now as you can see, look, got the Garmin on today. First time out with the Garmin. Everything connected as it should be and uh, yeah quite easy to see the screen which is really nice as well isn't it funny I have to ride, you don't ride for a for a few weeks and you gotta you, you gotta get yourself like all repositioned back on eh right let's get the what's that down there is that a cat oh it's a cat it's all right. We get a lot of hairs round here. You know them big, you know, oversized rabbits with the great big long ears and the huge back legs. Huh? We get loads of them around round here. And uh, man, they can shift. They really can. Hey. Eh? And I thought that might be one of them, but no, it was a cat. No. Where are we going to go? Well, you know what? Look at that. Nice gentle stop on the foot. It would be really rude not to go to my favourite location, which is the sea. I've nicely steamed up. I know that much. There you go. Bit of an airflow. Yeah, that, uh, that Garmin's not in a bad place really. I could probably tilt it up a little bit. It does, uh, it doesn't actually block the speed though. But it's sort of, uh, the rev counter is a little bit obscure, but yeah, I'll see, maybe. There is another fixing that I can use for it. I just, it's uh, like a bit of trial and error. I could raise it. So it's well above the clocks, which I may well do yet. We will see what we will see. But all in all, it works. Look at that, it's got the maps. I'm well impressed with it. And, uh, and like I said, I'll put the other one on the Trans Alp. And uh, yeah, all my kinds of us. Oh, look at this speed limit. Look. Oh, it's actually telling me that I'm 12 miles, 12 kilometres an hour over the speed limit. Naughty boy. <laughs> oh, I think we'll disable that. <laughs> there. I'll have to go into settings and sort that one out, I'll tell you. My daughter's house there, who she's probably still snoring red off somewhere now that's a bit unfair route mind you it is what's the time it's not even 9 30 yet so yeah but right 9 30 and according to our weather gauge temperature gauge weather gauge yeah right the temperature gauge is 18 degrees so knock three off, so we're looking at 15, that ain't bad really is it for the time of the morning. And yet, 
and yet according to the uh, the long range weather forecast not actually not quite so long range because this is for tomorrow uh, we're supposed to get rain it's going to rain tomorrow uh, rain tomorrow rain Thursday no Thursday is tomorrow rain tomorrow rain Friday Saturday Sunday and into next week so I don't know hey we will see what we will see this speed limit thing on here I mean I suppose it's a good idea in a way but uh, may, maybe not in all ways eh I'm a, oh dearly mate, it's a nice cloud of dust as she went past, couldn't help it I know but So what is this telling me now, speed limit, 250 metres ahead Oh right, okay, so we're going to, right okay, I get it now So we're going to go 120 metres ahead, we hit a 50, well there you go, there you go, 50 is look And it's, uh, well I suppose that's not bad is it, in a way, eh? I mean you don't have to read it do you, if you don't want to but yeah, eh? this is so, like I said when I bought this, this is so different um, to my original Garmin, you know, they've changed such a lot, still, for the best no doubt. Now, which way shall we go? Shall we go, shall we go? I know, I'm not going to be out too long, so what I'll do is I think, uh, I think we'll head straight for the straight for the sea. Hey, eh? that's that's what it's got to be. I think straight for the sea. I think I am going to raise it. I don't. Do you know what? I. I don't like the clocks uh, being covered really so I'm, I'm, I'm going to change the fitting to this and I'm going to raise it up a bit uh, and then I can see all of them I mean it's you know it's, it's personal choice really I suppose but yeah um, I mean I fitted this on when I was hobbling around with my boot on and uh, just did it for something to see really something to see, something to do and uh, yeah I think I've, I think it needs a bit of fine tuning because um, I'm not particularly happy I mean your speed it sort of covers the top bit which is fine, oh what's going on here eh? flat tyre, oh it's bike behind it no point in me stopping because they seem to have it all in hand only a young lad See, decent biker, pulls up, gives him a hand. See, now that's what it's all about, isn't it? Isn't it a shame, mate, because um, I remember a few years ago, um, well, quite a few years ago, I was on my BM, my uh, 1150 RT that I used to have, and I was down in Spain, and uh, there was, a, there was a, a lady on the side of the road, sort of looking at, at a car and... I mean, I suppose she, I don't know, late 30s, maybe early 40s. Um, and I was a dashing, handsome, <laughs> younger, younger uh, 50, I think. I, was, I don't know, anyway. Uh, so I, I stopped, you know, because it was like in the middle of nowhere-ish. You know, very quiet and it was hot. And, and I stopped, uh, you know, I mean, obviously being on the bike, you haven't got a huge toolkit with you, but... You know, I thought, you know, I could stop, I got a phone if she needed to call. And, uh, and uh, you know, she was, she was clearly worried, uh, which I get, I mean, I do. Um, but it, it's quite sad, really, isn't it, that, that that should enter people's heads of being worried because, you know, when you think about it, you know, I mean, I had every good intention to help this lady, which... As it actually turned out, you know, she, she could she could see that I was genuine, and I did help her. She used my phone, and you know, uh, she called a family member, 
um, and it all worked out good but yeah you know I, you you can see why you know that they or people do uh, get weary you know uh, very cautious and uh, you know it is a shame that in this day and age we have to think like that but yeah unfortunately we do nice gentle stop again then that is one good thing about these bikes is that actually i could have gone then couldn't i but hey ho is you know with them being so such a nice seat height that you can actually flat foot and you know hold the bike really stable um which is one of the reasons that i bought this bike was because you know after i had my hip operation and uh, still having me dodgy knees of course which have never gone away and, uh, and now the ankle the foot or whatever you want to class it whatever's gone wrong with the stupid thing um, so when I when I when I I downsized from the BM then I went to the Suzuki the 650 which which is a great bike I mean I've said this many a time before but they are quite a high bike you know and even though I changed the dog bones on it and I lowered it down it it changes the handling of the bike and it was never I don't know it just it was never I never it just didn't handle the same you know and so as much as I love Suzuki's and I do uh, I decided to sort of that and so when I was looking around for the bike one of the main factors of the Himalayan was basically the fact that it, it, it was so easy to handle you know I mean I, I could flat foot it all the time it's not every I know, well I know people say oh but you know for the size of the bike it, it is heavy well it's not really I don't think it's heavy you know drag a drag a big BM ram that's heavy so yeah but um And of course the other reason that, that, that I chose this bike was, uh, you know, the, the, the being able to, to do such a lot on it yourself, uh, which I still maintain, is absolutely great. And you're going to come out anyway, yeah? Oh well, such is life, eh? Uh, I just, do you know what, I... I, I Sometimes I wonder if I've got a strange model of these because you do hear people or channels on the internet they're always changing things on these bikes you know um, you know this needs changing that needs changing okay yeah I get it you you check like I've changed my my rear sprocket that well i didn't change it because my original sprocket was worn out i changed it because it makes a difference to to sort of you know to cruising and then you get the you know uh, i changed the exhaust again you know uh, i changed the exhaust and the air filter i did that not because there was anything wrong with the originals but i changed them because personally i wanted to change it give the engine a bit more breathability and it worked um so but you get these people with these bikes you know they change head stop bearings wheel bearings clutches and the bikes haven't done any sort of well the ones that are fitted were no good and all that and you know uh, I've spent a fortune getting this bike on it well why bike in the first place do you know what I mean I mean surely you're not that stupid you must be able to read up about them it's not hard is it you know um, and I just I just don't get if <laughs> If you're not happy with it, <laughs> you know, why buy it? Uh, so, and do the parts really need changing? I mean, you know, okay, I get it. Maybe if you're off-road and it's getting a right good bashing, 
then things wear out quicker, don't they? They do. But if it's just being used on a road bike, then that doesn't really apply, you know. But still, I mean, you know, I don't know. I suppose we all have our different opinions. But, uh, yeah. Oh, look, I've got to be a bit of an naughty boy there. But I had to get round him, and if I'd have stopped then, and, well, you know, it would have all gone... It would have all gone a bit sour. Well, there is a few clouds trundling in, eh? How's the temperature? 19 degrees, eh? 19 degrees! But you know what? Isn't it late coming this year? I mean, we are the 12th of June, eh? Uh, I think so far this year, I think I've been in shorts twice, that's it. You know, it's, it's just been absolutely useless. I got some uh, some people that I know now, some old friends, they're in Ibiza and uh, you know you expect Ibiza this time of the year to be like, I've been in Ibiza this time of the year, it's been great you know and, and they're there and yeah they said it's, it's warm but it's cloudy you know cloudy and a bit windy and you know first thing in the morning's a little bit chill and it's like you know what's going on? <laughs> Uh, the world weather is totally and utterly upside down. Okay, I know, I know that we're getting easier winters, you know, and we are. But do you know what? There's me rabbiting on, <laughs> and I've done it again, you know. Eh? I've missed the turning, but don't fear. He says, I'm sure I can cut through down here. Well, I can, I can, I know I can. So, yeah, I mean, like, even this now, this is clay. Well, you know, I mean, you can see from when I left the house, we have some, uh, we have some clouds appearing now, which sort of does actually say that, yeah, tomorrow could be a rainy day. Oh, there she is. Look, there's the sea. I love the sea. Uh, absolutely love the sea I was just trying to work out why there's patches of water everywhere on the road but I've got it it's where they it's where they come along and they they water the hanging back oh good that was quick Okay, put the visor up because it's going to steam up quite nicely. <laughs> Traffic lights, eh? That's a, that's a strange little road there. There, can you see Rue de Bel Air, a dead end? Look at that, eh? One, oh, priority, which. You would think, actually, what I think I'll do. It'd be nice just to nip round Odeon, I think. Uh, it'd be rude not to. I haven't been down there for a bit. In fact, I haven't really been anywhere for a bit, so yeah. Let's have a quick toot toot around o Odeon and then we'll, we'll, we'll come back out and we'll, we'll go up the coast that way. Now, isn't it strange? It says it's 20 degrees now like 17 then yeah so the temperature's going up and I'm feeling more chilly <laughs> oh good uh, it must come with age I seem to feel the cold so much these days oh what's this here huh what's this thing they got here now some ride is it or I don't know, what is it? Oh, it, no, it's that, that cooking thingy. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Tides in, all the marinas. Uh, there's a lot of boats still missing that side. Mind you, with all this weather, I think people are thinking, you know what? I think I'll 
think what we'll do is we'll ride down to the next island and we'll we'll swing it round the next island, shall we? Getting more busier here now. Look, as the uh, as the season's going to start springing to life. Right, we don't want to go all the way through there, so we'll swing it round this island there. And then we'll go up and we'll go up the coast road, which I've done many a time before, but hey ho. Seeing as I haven't been out for so much, I need I need my fix of the coast. And anyway, it's a it's just getting out on the bike right now and not doing too much because you know I I couldn't stand another another three weeks of that boot stuck on. Drive me up the wall. Now hopefully, I'll concentrate to where I'm going as well this time. That would be pretty good, so I don't miss the turning. Well it's certainly clouding over. <laughs> Give you that look at that lot up there, eh? Another thing that I've noticed on the internet, this there's there's obviously a growing audience or, or or no not audience, a growing number of people that are actually going out and getting the new Himalayan. Oh why not? You know, again, personal choice. I, do you know what? I, I don't know why they called it a Himalayan though. I, you know, it's a pity that they didn't keep this one because I think the 411 has got a fantastic following and I think it always will have, you know. Um, I don't really think it matters. I, like we're all go, touching back, there's, it, it doesn't matter what bike it is. It can be a Honda, it can be a BMW, it can be anything that you like. There's always someone somewhere is not going to like that particular model or that particular make. So, you know. Uh, and it's a shame that when they bought out the new 450, or is it the 452? I don't know. Something like, like that. That they didn't give it a new name. You know, not the Himalayan. Because, to be fair, it's, it's, not, it's not... It doesn't even look... That was a bit close, wasn't it? Eh? Doesn't even look like a Himalayan. So I don't know. It just it just seems, you know. But still, but of course they don't even make this one now, do they? You know, this has been stopped again. I think that's a shame because the new Himalayan isn't everyone's cup of tea. You know, uh, the seat height for one is higher, and. I'd, I'd say there's a good percentage of riders who own this model, the 411, who are probably the elder age of rider, yeah? So, and of course it suits us, doesn't it, you know? With our arthritic hips and knees and backs and... I don't know. <laughs> so, it still enables a lot of people to, to, to do the camping trips, to carry the gear, you know, but to be on a bike that is totally manageable as well. And where the new one now has got a bit higher, it, 
I think that could put a few people off. Uh, I haven't even sat on one. I would like to, actually. You know, I would actually. I am. I'm going to go down. Because there isn't a Royal Enfield dealership anywhere near me. They're miles away, you know. And uh, so I'm probably have a day out. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's like three hours drive to the nearest dealership to me. Uh, but I would like to pop up uh, and have a look at one in the flesh as they say and uh, also the new is it Shogun? I think it is isn't it? Yeah, I think something like that anyway I'm pretty sure that it is now you know what, I'm not, no no, no, I'm not going to go that way I'm going to go this way and I'm going to make sure I get the turning Uh, yeah, so it would be interesting to sit on and, 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 and see what the seat I is like. I mean, like I say, I'm five foot eight and a half, or I was many years ago. I don't know if I've shrunk, probably have a bit, but anyway. So, and I can flat foot this easily. So, I could probably flat foot the new one, or, you know, at least solid balls of the feet. Uh, but again, you know, as you get older, you want as much of the foot on the floor as you possibly can. And of course, the other big thing, it's not just being able to get your feet flat down, it's being able to, at the same time, being able to get on and off the thing. So, if they've made it like really high, hang on a sec, I just... I think, can I go down this one here? I'm, yeah, I can, I'm sure I can. If they've made it really high, then obviously, you know, uh, that's going to put even more strain getting on and off it. Which again, for us elder gentlemen, <laughs> can, be, can make a huge difference, you know. I mean, I've got me, I've got me hip to throw over the one. I've got me two knees that are arthritic to wobble and bang her head. Then I've got me ankle. Look at that! Look at that! Eh? Look at just look at that. The sea, eh? Isn't it beautiful? Eh? Oh, you can't see much of it yet, I know, but we will in a minute. To have, uh, we seem to have we seem to have lost a few clouds, which is always a good thing, eh? I like how they've done. If you look here, look, you've got the two. You've got like one main track, and then two sort of cycle tracks, yeah. Uh, because of course, this down here, ah, oh, I just, just, just look at that, eh? Just look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Slow approach, eh? This, doesn't that sea look nice? Anyway, as I was saying, this is a this is a very popular beach, all, well, all this coast. So you get a lot of push bikes here, and uh, so that's why they've done this here. Doesn't that look beautiful? I hope the GoPro is picking up the different colours of that look. I don't know whether it actually is, but... Oh, hang on, we've got one of these... Let's stop here. I'm not too sure what this geese is doing. No? Okay. He's got the map out. Fair play to the man. He's got the map out. Look at that, eh? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Eh? That looks absolutely great. These are these little, these bits of land here. These things, you can, you can buy 
these bits of land see look see these here look see you can buy them and uh, but the only thing that you can do is put your caravan on it and not a static caravan it has to be a touring caravan you can put it there I think it's for six months, seven months of the year, I think. Uh, and that's it then, finished, yeah? And, uh, so yeah, but you, you do actually own the land. But you, you can never have, like, um, any facilities on it, water, electric, you know, so, yeah. It's a nice house. Oh, we've got the clouds back again, look. I didn't particularly want to go this way. <laughs> but hey-ho, it's a ride, hey? A ride's a ride. Now let's have a look here. We can cut down here. I'm thinking. No, but this is going to take me back down the same route. Oh, actually, that was a bit of a bit of a bad landing with the foot. That was a bit, see now that's what you gotta, uh, as I put my foot down that time it sort of caught and scraped along, not scraped along the floor but caught and sort of rippled, you know you know, only a skim of stone, you remember when we as kids used to stand there skimming the stones well I still do it now actually so <laughs> but yeah actually give it a bit of a jolt then still, never mind, I. See, you just forget, you don't, you know, under normal circumstances, that wouldn't even bother you, would it, eh? But, uh, yeah, Cert certainly give that a bit of a, ooh. Well, I don't think I'm going to go back down to the coast again. I'm, uh, I've had a little ride. Oh, hi, 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 whoa, ho, ho, eh? Jesus, hey, you just come out mate, I mean, you know, you're a lot bigger than me, what the hell am I going to do about it? <laughs> oh, good. Hey, that, <laughs> my foot would have been the least of my worries. <laughs> as, I, <laughs> as I'm <laughs> holding on to the front of his grill for dear life. <laughs> no, I don't know. They just don't give it any thought, some people, do, do they? they just like, you know, they literally just come out. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter who's in the way. You know, I'm coming out and that's it. And you think, oh, yeah, all right. Still, such is life, I suppose. So the cyclists are get, getting here, look, eh? We get absolutely loads of them, you know, uh, in the summer. And why not? I mean, look, she's all geared up. Got a camping stuff on the back by the look of it, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Fair play to him, mate. It's a bit early. Though. It's a bit chilly, isn't it, really? I'm not too sure. I mean, I love camping. I do. We're, we're going away this year in our tent uh, with the kids. Um, I mean, I absolutely love camping. Done it all my life. But I'm not too sure I'd want to be away just yet. Huh? It seems... I don't know. It just... It just seems a little bit chilly in the morning. It's all right. I'm just... I'm just going to go another way, so so we can give this a little bit of a little bit of a run, because this hasn't been out for a bit, and uh, I normally take it nice and easy, which I still am. I mean, oh maybe not. So say I do I do actually need to move this up a bit. Uh, yeah, certainly do. 
I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bring it so the top of it's about here the only trouble is with that I'm, <laughs> I might have to feed all the cable back through again that could be a bit of a pain in the bum but hey oh there you go hey Oh, look, it gives, gives you one of these speed warnings again. Actually, it just goes to show, I mean, this, this has got its own speed on this Garmin. So, it's saying that I'm doing 72, and I'm looking at my speedo, and to be honest with you, that speedo's pretty bang on really let's let's get this mic right so it's saying 70 yeah there's probably about three kilometers out of difference in it I, I always sort of take the the uh, the satellite to be pretty pretty right so yeah Oh, the temperature's come down again now. We're 18, so we're about 15, yeah? That's fair enough. Now, we can go up here, actually. In fact, I think it probably would be a good idea because the road in Plosivet... sort of shut so a little deviation up here I think would be a good idea they're doing so many road works around here at the moment they're, they're just digging roads up left right and centre and putting in new services which is I mean it's good because then obviously the roads you know uh, are really nice makes you wonder how they afford to do it. I was on about this the other week, wasn't I? You know, I mean, you think, you know, you think to yourself, well, if France can afford to do it, why can't the UK? Because their potholes over there are supposed to be really bad. I, obviously, I haven't seen it myself, but. I, you know, I talk to my friends back there and that, and they say it's a joke, you know, you, you, you eat some of them and they'll have you off the bike, you know, and uh, so, you know, and yet here, mind you, let's be honest, with all these things that are going on around us all, you know, Macron, you know, the other day, I think he might have spat the dummy out the pram a little bit and uh, stamped his feet and said, right, you know, I'm dissolving the government, I'm going to call, I mean, talk about a bit of an impulsive decision, there you go, I'll tell you what, it'd be a strange thing really, wouldn't it, if you've got Macron, well he is the president and he'll remain for a while as president, no matter what, with Le Pen being his prime minister, eh? <laughs> mind you, I don't think she will. She'll stay in the background and she'll get, I forget his name now, the 28 year old, I forget his name, and uh, Le Pen will have a crack at the presidency the next time round. Hey, well, what can you say? And then of course, back in the UK, it's all, it's all going there, isn't it, eh? All these, don't you love politicians, eh? Whenever there's a general election, they promise you the earth, don't they? Uh, the only thing someone should uh, should promise 
our uh, Nigel, our Nigel Lafarge is uh, <laughs> some protection. What milkshake threw over him and then was it yesterday some geezer was lobbing stones? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter if you like someone or you don't like someone. There's no need to do that, is there? You know, I mean, come on. You know, I mean, show a bit of respect. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. You do have to wonder. Well, it will be interesting to see in both countries the outcome. They always seem, you know, uh, they always seem to put this big thing on immigration, don't they? Huh? Have you noticed? I know I always say that I don't get into political, and this, this isn't political, but it's, you know, they they always seem to blame immigration. I mean, Brexit, you know, what, what was Brexit? Or one of the main things of Brexit, it was to stop the immigrants coming into the UK, remember? And we have the same thing, I mean, Le Pen, although I don't know much about her, but she apparently doesn't like, if you're not French, well, you know. <laughs> and uh, they talk about people as though they're just, you know, they're a number, you know, they're a nuisance. Oh, ah. there's, a, there's an hole there. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. That's twice the foot's banged down. And, uh, you know, I, okay, for whatever reason that you want to class someone as being an immigrant. I mean, am I, am I an immigrant? You know, I'm an Englishman living in France, which, I mean, I've, I, I haven't even got my European status now because the UK is uh, out of Europe. So, you know, am I an immigrant? Um, but I'm still a human being. You know, and I don't know. I, I <laughs> people are people. It doesn't matter where they come from or what they've got or they haven't got. And it doesn't, you know, you can't say, well, oh, they come over here and they cause trouble or they do this. Well, you know, there's people in our own countries, whether it's France, England, doesn't matter where it is. No one's perfect. You're never going to get 100% of the population perfect. So, I don't know. I, I, I think immigration is a totally wrong thing for a debate on whether a party should get in or not. I really do. That's people's lives that's being talked about. Anyway, okay. Enough with that one. You know. It's not a political channel. And that's just my view, by the way, before anybody starts. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the UK, the UK doesn't really make much difference to me, really. Well, I suppose it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, obviously, my pension, my old age pension, is from the UK, so, you know, if, <laughs> whichever party gets in, if you want to give us a healthy rise, well, you know. That would be extremely nice. But uh, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen. So yeah, but I mean, uh, and the French elections, well one I can't vote anyway. Even though we've been here, this is our 19th year now. Uh, we can't vote, uh, so I'm not too sure. Um, it obviously makes I, I watch the French elections because you know this is my children's. This is you know I mean I'm on me I'm on me last bit, but you know my children have all been born in France. Well, not all my children, but you know uh, three of them had the, the three youngest ones. And, uh, and you know, one of my other daughters lives here still and makes a life here. So, it, you know, obviously, 
decisions made affects my kids so yeah <sighs> anyway well you know what it hasn't been a long ride uh, but I've enjoyed it I, I must admit I did clamp my foot mind you that's quite nicely uh, throbbing a bit now silly silly boy that I am but still never mind uh, right so I've enjoyed myself I hope you've enjoyed yourself and uh, I shall go home and uh, <laughs> see what's happened to the foot as I say nah I'd be alright I think it is extremely delicate at the moment so you know the slightest knock tends to give it a bit of a bit of a thump anyway right thanks for coming along I hope you've enjoyed it just a little ride uh, if you do if you like this one give me a big thumbs up that would be great if you're not subscribed I'd love you to be and uh, I will see you in the next video which will probably be doing my car there it is look hey we we shall see we shall see what we shall see right so oh look at that look look I get a little heart on the screen saying that I'm back home hey isn't that nice eh? that is that's dead cute right okay cute oh my god uh, I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye for now.